What do you think, Dick? New competition, same success? Let's hope so, because the loser gets to watch from the stands after this third round game between the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and the Houston Cougars. Hey, Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practices, tough games, and all of those other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. The Cougars should have a cakewalk tonight, Dick. What are the keys for them, you think? Hey, the keys for them should be straightforward tonight. Number one, make good decisions offensively and reduce those turnovers. Secondly, grab the boards, baby. Make it a habit. Lastly, make your team think defense first. Solid defense will lead to good offense. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action and see what's in store for us. Both teams looking to get things going here. High post screen, going to use it. He tries the three ball. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. Hey, Brown, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside shippers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Can't get the shot to go. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Fake. Good fake. He goes with a baby hook. Doesn't go. He keeps his dribble as they reset. In the paint. Jumps in. Makes the shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. And he's despite the hack. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. The power forward takes the feed. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Basic. Pull up jumper from way out. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. There's a double team waiting there. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. Dick. I'm trying to three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in close position and spreading his body and getting the ball. The center gets the ball. He rejects it. They keep saying, get that stuff out of here. Trying to draw the foul. He used the screen to create the space for the score on the inside. The shooting guard gets the pass. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Now trying to feed the low block. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Down inside, the power forward with the ball. For the bucket, in and out. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Goes up for two. And in and out. Drops the bucket despite the harm. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. Moving it around the perimeter. Number three is feeling great right now. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. Trying to feed the low block. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Hard foul. 
That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. They go into the low block with the fake. He fakes the shot. He attempts a jump hook. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Looking for a good shot. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. The small forward takes the pass. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Hey, if it wasn't for his play, that'd be in big trouble, Brad. Someone else needs to step up. Got a whistle and a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. And it takes some pride on a defensive end. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Anticipation by the post player. He unloads. Off the rim and no good. Ferocious defense tonight, Dick. Hey, are you kidding me? They're making me nervous. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes. <laughs> Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. the outside the crowd loves this young man the people here really appreciate what he brings to the table that spin moves not gonna work against this defense that's a no-no baby defensive player beats him to the spot the Cougars have got to continue to get him the ball they need to keep feeding him the ball it's simple great anticipation defensively Long lead pass for the bucket. He buries it. Entry pass in the paint. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. That's an 8-0 run. Fakes it. He launches a three. Way off target. They work the perimeter. Controlling the ball. From downtown, he gets it to fall. They scored 11 in a row.
that time out there. That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. He shoots from the top of the key. He drains the bucket. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. He shoots from left of the circle. Number 31 makes a trade. Double team now. Bad angle. The ball goes out of play. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, with the score so close, both teams seem so intense on their benches right now. Both coaches have told me it all comes down to turnovers and miscues. Thanks, Aaron. Number 35, pump fakes. Up and inside. Looks at a three. Off the rim and no good. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. He pulls the trigger. Way off target. They'll work it around the arc. Now the high screen. Can't get the shot to go. Turnover City that will always really negate any offense. Goes up for two. Both teams looking to get things going here. He looks at the hoop. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. You're going to be seeing this one all week. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. For two, what do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Now they work it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the key. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Gave it up. Turns it over. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Another turnover. And we're not talking about the turnovers either. Nice fake for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Yeah. 
Working it around the perimeter. He's going nowhere. Ball going. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Drives one from three-point land. Way off target. That's basic. He takes the three. Off the rim and no good. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. And now they'll... He gets the rejection. Picked off. Moving it around the perimeter. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. That's good. Here's a double team. The fake. Up and inside. We're going to move it around the perimeter. The frustration right there. Fires it down. <laughs> Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Oh, what a strip, Red. Got the high pick. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. He throws it up from downtown, way off target. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. He fires from long range. Buried it. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. They get it out, and it, it counts. And the senior leader will go to the free throw line. Don't get laid him on that play, Brad. That's huge. To the line. Makes it. Around in the game, man. Working it around the perimeter for two. Perfectly executed. the most out of that timeout, Dick.
Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Both free throws go. The Cougars are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. Adam in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. He attempts the three. Off the rim and no good. The crowd will be on cloud nine if they can put some points up on the board. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Has the screen up on top. Number one with the theft. Dump it inside. He shoots from right of the circle, way off target. Look at that spacing. Way out on top, controlling the ball. A whistle and a foul. The coach not happy on the sideline. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He makes it. Georgia Tech are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Got them a nylon, NBN. Looking for a good shot. Goes for the deep one. Off the rim and no good. They come with a double team to stop it. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Opportunity for two for one. There's a double team waiting there. Gave it up. Jumps into the defender. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. play anticipated well when you're an anticipator you got a chance to do well a lot of guys they're reactors if you're a reactor you're one step behind the action oh. pressure that basketball help one another communicate he tries to knock down the three he's taking a lot of bad shots out there dick i know he's trying to catch fire brad but it's just not there he drains the shot At the end of the first half, the Cougars are trailing by two. Let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Houston has struggled to control the boards in that first half, Dick. They're not playing with the same intensity and passion that I've grown accustomed to seeing. The coaching staff must be a wee bit worried about what is going on with their squad. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. Picks off the lazy pass. And the ball goes out of bounds. Goes out of bounds. 
Well, you start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know what? For me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. The small forward handles the feed. He gets the shot to fall. Executes the baby hook. Rims out. He comes away with it. it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He tries a jump hook. And in and out. On the dribble, gives it up. He launches the bomb. He can't get the bucket to fall. Ball comes back out from the post. Right there, Brad. You gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The center receives the pass. He comes away with it, pushes it. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> they work the perimeter. He puts it up. You can't go those kind of stretches against a team of this quality and expect to win. Gave it up. There he is, strips the ball loose. The center receives the ball. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Georgia Tech are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Yeah, they're really starting to click on offense. Up and inside. For the bucket, the land. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely, getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. He lets it go. Off the rim and no good. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Great play to take that to the basket. perimeter and he'll kick it back outside he shoots from the top of the key nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot work the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart double team now bad angle The power forward handles the pass. Tries for two. The layup is good. Dumps it in. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul call, Dick. I think a good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Here's a double team from three-point range. Rims out. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Georgia Tech have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad.
watch the move as he works his man and not a fadeaway jumper. Off the rim and no good. He puts it in with contact and all. Tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Up and inside. Trying to draw some contact. Lays it in. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Goes up for two. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Number 23 is pounded on his way up. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end. Plus, you get people into foul trouble. Makes the second. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. They're a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. The Cougars have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. On the outside. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Got an open look if he wants it. Number one with the foul. Second team foul. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. For two. He comes up empty. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. They work the perimeter. Launches away. Makes it. The Yellow Jackets lead by six. Number 24, it's mediocre play has really gotten to him. Yeah, it's unfortunate to see this, Brad. I feel for him. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Swats the ball. They just keep shutting the door. Working it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Take it away. Looking for a good shot. For the deuce. Rims out. There's the pick. There's the roll. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Borishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> For the bucket. Perfectly executed. That's worth another look.
the top of the circle. Misses the long bomb. The Cougars have a number of seniors in their lineup. That factor alone will definitely help their cause. Tries for two. Off the rim and no good. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Number 31 picks up the defensive foul. First team foul. Oh, Mr. Nestler, there's no need for that extracurricular stuff. I agree, but that was a great play. Now it seems as though his emotions are getting the best of him. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. He gets them both. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. The Cougars have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Pressure that basketball. He puts up the tray. The Cougars have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep getting the ball. It's simple. Pump fakes. And a momentary look from three-point land. For the bucket, the Yellow Jackets have got to continue to get him the ball. And he's on fire. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. Stolen. You got to be careful when you go for those steals, Brad. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Wide open for the shot. The shot from the baseline. Way off target. off the pass. Jump hook from the low block. He's making just terrible choices shooting the ball. He's got to settle down, man. Settle that cat down. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, after all, this is the NCAA Finals. In talking with both coaches before the game, they figured it would be a close game from start to finish. I'm certainly looking forward to the game's ending. In the paint. Tries for two. Rims out. From way outside. Off the rim and no good. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Georgia Tech are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Number 21 has been negatively influenced by his play and the events which have unfolded here. Brad, he's in what many people call a funk. Emotionally, he's got to turn things around. Number three is Paul. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. Number 42 goes to the charity line. No doubt about it. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. The defender is still applying great wall pressure, Brad. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Now they work it around the perimeter. 
Goes up for two. Basket falls despite the contact. Gave it up for two. Perfectly executed. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Launches the bomb. Off the rim and no good. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. They're working around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better. Deep. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Steals the ball. And again, they look to run. He drains the shot. Let's get a replay, baby. Side. And he scores despite the hat. <laughs> Takes away the pass for the deuce. And in and out. There's the trap. Robs him of the ball. And he tries to spin away. He posterized him. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows him to get the crease, the lane, the angle. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. Just like in practice. Working it around the perimeter. Great defense. Launches away. You bet. Cue up the replay, fellas. A defensive stop will definitely get the fans out of their seats. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. They'll work it around the arc. Inside. Number 32 is charged with the foul. First personal foul. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? I like it when a team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and off it. He sinks both of them. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Intercepted. Gave it up. With a sensational block. And the ball goes out of play. We 
you see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. All factors that are important in close games. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Picks off the lazy pass. Dump it inside. Steals the pass. For the bucket. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. He shoots from left of the circle, rims out. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He can't get the bucket to fall. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes the first. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Second one is no good. We got a timeout on the floor, and with that, let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. And I think she's right about that, Richie. Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. And we're back to a two-point game. On the dribble, gives it up. There's a double team waiting there. Looking for a good shot. That's a nice fake. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. In the paint. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Off the rim and no good. Beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play.
change might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. He attempts the three, rims out. And this one, Dick, is going to be decided in overtime. That's the way this one has gone all game, Brad. Don't head for the exits yet. These teams are headed into overtime. College basketball fans have gotten more than they even bargained for in this NCAA tournament because they get more for their buck overtime, Richard. I tell you, Brad, I know you and I love it. The players love it. The coaches love it. But isn't it going to be sad that one of these clubs is going to walk out of here with an L? No good. From a different area code. Off the rim and no good. Finger roll. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. Too strong. Now they work it around the perimeter. The crowd really admires this young man. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. Working around the perimeter. He shoots from long range. Not a whole lot of luck getting the baskets to fall lately, Dick. They definitely aren't getting the bounces right now. Fake. He takes the shot off the baseline. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's obviously carrying his team, Brad. His teammates need to follow his lead and join in on the action. Gets it to fall. How about an instant replay? That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Look at that! That's unbelievable, baby! He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from outside. Can't put it down. For the deuce. Nice shot. Working around the arc. There's the pick. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. On the dribble, gives it up. Ten on the shot clock. For the bucket. Rims out. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Takes it off him. for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Time out on the floor. Aaron Andrews, what do you got for us, EA? Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. 
Back to the action now in the half court. Let's see what they set up there. They go back in front by two. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. This time out as play resumes. They work the perimeter. Step out on that screener. There's the block. The ball goes out of play. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Here's a flash from the high post. Throws it up for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. around the perimeter making his presence felt with a block nope pushes it up well now it's just a matter dick isn't it a clock management here it looks like they're going to slow the game down by follow brad well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers, missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. He'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. He makes the second. Give yourself a chance with a score here. It's a four-point game. This one could go either way. Don't give up your seat. He attempts the trifecta. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Number 35 going to the charity stripe for the first time tonight. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Rims off. We've got a timeout, Dick, and I'll be back in a moment. That's a good T.O., baby. things up again the lead is five what happens now dick well this is where momentum can swing in your favor or go against you enough to blow your game he looks for three off the rim and no good dick you've said it so many times survive in advance well one survived and will advance the other one's going home well the better team won because they protected the basketball they made sure they converted on the free throw line they did all the little intangibles we talked about that was the difference in the game. 
the Yellow Jackets makes it three in a row with an impressive third round victory. Hey, the way they're playing, Brad, this team is going to be hard to deal with entering the Elite Eight. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.